This video is going to show how students can access DreamBox. First, you want to navigate to gbaps.org. You can go to your individual school's webpage, or across the top, you can choose Students. On this next page, you'll navigate along the left side and come down to where it says Launchpad. Launchpad is a school district's way of housing all of our applications. Here you will use the student's username and password. If you're not sure what it is, please contact your student's teacher. Then you will sign in. Once you are here, you will have access to the school district's apps, some of which are automatically logged in and some you will have to log in. The first thing you want to remember once you're here to, before you access Streambox is you want to make sure that you have the correct Google account signed in. So we're going to go to Google Drive. You could go to any one of the Google products. I recommend, recommend Gmail or Google Drive. And here you want to make sure that your student is logged in as opposed to you, your personal one or your student's personal one. So I'm looking for the student's name. And I'm specifically looking for greenbaystudent.org. Going to enter the password, and I'm going to be logged in as this student. So now I am in the student's Google Drive. Now that I am here, I am going to navigate back to the Green Bay Area PSD tab. That's our launch pad. And now I'm going to open up Dreambox. When I click on Dreambox, it's going to take me to this Green Bay Area Public School District login page. It is set up through a program called Clever, but we don't want to use this Clever site over here. We are going to choose Login with Google, which is why it's important to make sure that your student is logged into Google and not a personal one. Once I click Login with Google, if prompted, you may have to re-enter the student's Google information, but if you just did it in Drive, it should directly bring you to their Dreambox account. 